Hello guys, thanks for watching, Adrian here, Mapsit. So in this uh, short video I will um, I will check out this uh, open source starter which is powered by uh, Tailwind and CSS and Django. And the UI is provided by Creative Team. Uh, this uh, software UI dashboard is quite popular and uh, we decided to incorporate this, uh, this design in, uh, in our kit. So, um, the product comes with the usual features like Docker, uh, continuous integration, continuous deployment flow, and of course, being open source, um, the license is uh, is MIT. Let's um, um, check out the the project in uh, in, an, in a local environment and just uh, start the product using uh, using Docker. Uh, also, another feature that is provided is um, is the styling for the admin section reserved for super users in case uh, anyone uh, wants more than that um, default uh, ui provided by django which is great in my opinion and uh, can be used in uh, any kind of project uh, free or commercial uh, in case you you want something extra that looks better uh, this project uh, might help okay let's uh go here to the to the CLI and just uh, check out the sources basically I'm using the instructions provided here on the on the readme file once the sources are downloaded I will switch the directory inside the project and uh, simply start uh, uh, the application using docker Okay, now the product is up and running. Let's access the UI and play around with the with the UI. Of course, we can we can uh, create users and uh, um, authenticate, and of course, uh, play around with uh, with all, all other features. Let's create a new user, for instance. If the user is uh, successfully created, uh, we are redirected automatically to the sign-in page. And we can see here that the, um, the left menu now being authenticated um, is, uh, has more, uh, more pages. Basically, the, all, the, all the UI, all the pages provided by the, by the kit. All the, um, uh, the entire authentication flow provided by Django, which is registration, change password, and um, all other, all other things uh, are styled with this, uh, with this UI. And uh, in my opinion, this is super, super cool. Okay, now the project is, is up and running. How about um, deploying the, the product live? Uh, AppSeed uses render as deployment infrastructure because uh, uh, this, uh, this platform has a decent pricing and a super simple UI that uh, can be used by even by beginners okay in order to to deploy the product you need to copy the url of the repository go to the blueprint section click here on a new blueprints instance click on continue now the product uh, render analyzes the um, the project and detects the type of the of the project because the sources are shipped with these two files render.eml which basically explain uh, where is the entry point into our application also other basic things and render is able to automatically deploy the product without uh, any other efforts let's uh, access the, um, the deployment logs and uh, in all cases this uh, this deploy should not take more than one or two minutes uh, another thing is that uh, once you uh, deploy deploy or render, basically you have a continuous integration, continuous deployment deployment flow active, and uh, in case we uh, let's say update the source code, the the latest changes are automatically pushed into um, uh, into the live uh, instance. Okay, now the the build is flagged as as being successful. 
but uh, we need to wait a little bit to um, to have here um, a, st uh, a confirmation from render that tells us the the product is live and uh, we can we can use it okay now the product is flagged as being live let's take a look at the at the application it's the same thing as uh, as in the local environment let's uh, update the code base and just check out the um, continuous integration continuous deployment flow uh, i will update this uh, this string uh, directly on uh, on github and once we commit the changes uh, the render should trigger another build and we should see this uh, the new change uh, in the reflected in the in the live in the live instance okay let's go here to the source code I will open up the templates directory, go to the includes, and I will edit the footer. It's just a minor update, but uh, this will help us to uh, to demonstrate that the um, uh, continuous integration flow works. Let's go back to the render and we can see here that a new build was triggered with our uh, triggered by the latest commit and uh, we can check out the compilation, uh, compilation logs. Okay, until the product is uh, is deployed, um, uh, guys. In case anyone have issues with the product, feel free to access the product page, which is also listed on AppSeed. Go here to the to the home page, uh, click on support, and uh, use these uh, credentials to chat with us, send us an email, or simply join the squad. And uh, in case uh, you have issues, we will try to assist. Let's go back to the to the build. Build is flagged as successful, and um, the product, the new version of the product, should be should be live soon. Soon we will uh, release other uh, tailing CSS uh, based starters like Argon, like uh, uh, other um, other starters styled with uh, with Flowbyte from Tinsberg and. Uh, we will uh, provide more and more uh, tailwind starters because uh, our users ask many times for uh, for such products and uh, we have the the possibility to 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 provide them okay now the product the new version is live if we go here to the to the ui and uh, visualize the the footer we can see here that the new the new label it's uh, is displayed so guys, thanks for watching. Adrian here from Mapsid. Feel free to to use the product. Uh, in my opinion, looks great. Um, the license is it's MIT, which means you can use the um, the sources to to build commercial uh, project or simply use for e-learning activities. And uh, in all cases, if anyone have issues, uh, we provide free support. Thanks again for watching. Adrian here from Mapsid, and. Uh, uh, Wish you all, as always, a super, super day. Bye, guys.